Gustavo starts with double rock rough and a slugma, but no Zerua. Um, and I think he passed. So now Jimmy has an opportunity. Obviously started a Zerua, but this is uh, Jimmy has a has chance. He passed, or did he just start three Pokemon? Uh, I think he just started. Or maybe he just started three Pokemon. So uh, Jimmy has a chance here to um, yeah. get a yeah, lot this of. Is, this is Jimmy's first turn. You, you people on stream, you not missed anything. So Jimmy, uh, obviously looking for um, Lele, grabbing a Lily. Um, he just wants to get more Zerua into play. Um, if he can find like a Rockruff and an Energy, that would be great as well. Um, one of the keys in the matchup between these two, uh, between a Zorak Mirror, is to just chase down Rockruffs. Yeah, um, yeah. Zorak doesn't really do anything um, as long as you can establish your Lycanroc. So uh, that's what Jimmy is going to try and do here. Um, I didn't see what, we obviously didn't see what was in his hand. Got the Deancey as well. I think he might be using Lily for four or five. Yeah, I think there's a couple of interesting pivot points. He grabs the Deancey, so he's the only one that runs the Deancey. The nice thing about the Deancey is it lets his Lycanroc claw slash for 130. I think the only po point where that math matters is Gustavo runs a Buzzwool, and he's going to try to find a Sledgehammer turn where he can kill a Zoroark. Uh, that 130 is really a huge, you know, the opportunity to use that or the three Devoured Shields Jimmy has to kill Buzzwools. He's going to have to kill that Buzzwool quickly. We see a Great Ball. It actually hits the Rock Ruff. Um, that is perfect. And then he follows that up with a Nest Ball for another Zerua. Um, so this is a pretty strong opener for Jimmy. Um, the only way this could be better is if he does have an attach for turn. I didn't see what he drew off the Lily or what else is in there. But um, that would be, uh, this is already a very strong opener for yeah. Jimmy. I, I always worry uh, if I'm Gustavo. Uh, I mean, when you open with that many Pokemon in your hand, you don't have a lot of cards. Like, he's going to need those four cards plus the card he draws. Jimmy to, passes, to so really help him advance his board state. He has no Zora was out. No energy attachment. He Guzmas right away, pulls up the DNC, um, and passes. So uh, I imagine that his hand is garbage. Um, the last time we saw Gustavo Wada on stream, uh, it was kind of the same thing. Uh, maybe stream, maybe being streamed is just his kryptonite um, with these Zora Rock decks. But um, Jimmy, what he needs to find now is a uh, Guzma to um, get this thing out of there. Uh, and start attacking with something if he finds Zorox. Yeah, Gustavo smartly attaches the energy to the Rockruff in the active. That way, if Jimmy plays Guzma, the Rockruff's not a target. He has Mallow. You know, also, uh, keeping this, um, you know, if Gustavo doesn't have a Lycanroc and another energy, keeping the DNC in the active spot for a turn doesn't really matter. Um, you know, he'd rather set himself up with the Mallow, uh, but we... I think I see an energy in Gustavo's hand, but I don't know what else is in there. So, um, yeah. if I'm Jimmy, I probably... I mean, interestingly, Gustavo, if Gustavo has, like, a Lycanroc and a DCE, he can uh, start pounding away next turn if uh, Jimmy's just stalled out here. Jimmy has at least one Zork in his hand, so I, I can't see what he's eyeing here. I think that's a... I, just, I can't see. Yeah. It looked like a fighting energy he grabbed. He checks again, but he refused to show the camera. What a monster. So I want to say I called the Gustavo's got a dead hand. He has too many Pokemon. Army of Pokemon. Yeah, I mean, maybe he maybe he had an Ultra Ball, you know, and then yeah. he grabbed a Lily, or a Lele for a Lily for like eight. So yeah, been... yeah. I mean, obviously, obviously he's got outs, but unfortunately he just uh, starts out with uh, not so a lot going on. We'll see what Jimmy draws here. He tries away a Choice Band for a Fighting Energy and maybe another Zork. Maybe he had both. This card's a Kakui. Being pretty coy about these cards. And he pulls up the Slugma. So, um, you know, he wants to now uh, kind of stall Gustavo. And uh, he passes. Gustavo plays a I think he wants, to have a, he wants to be able to Guzma target that Rock Ruff next turn. That's a heads. And a heads. So he'll grab two Lycanroc. Uh, uh, I, I, he's going to grab a Macargo and a Lycanroc, I assume. If it's in there. Yeah. It is, okay. Yeah, because he's going to want to smooth over into a better supporter for next turn. Probably. And he's eyeing the Zork, actually. I assume he meant <laughs> he's the like, Lycanroc. Is that what I want? <laughs> uh... Yeah, that's madness. That. Any the makers as well. Oh, so that's maybe why he was considering the Zora, because he's, he's going to grab double. Right. 
uh, Nest Ball, but I think he... Uh, so... Doesn't take the Zork. Attaches another fight, and this is good. He's spreading his energy around. Yeah, well, he, he knows that that Rock Ruff with the energy was the target that, that Jimmy was trying to tee up. So he says, no, now I'm going to have two Rock Ruffs with an energy. I think I saw a Zork in his... that he put on top. Um, you know, he's probably assuming that um, this uh, uh, cargo will be knocked out. But uh, Jimmy's kind of in a situation where he only has one Lycanroc. Um, and so he can knock out one of the uh, Rock Ruffs. Uh, but then Gustavo can retaliate with a Dangerous Rogue and knock him out. So I'm not sure what Jimmy is going to do, how he wants to handle this sort of this next turn. Yeah. Here. I mean, Jimmy knows Gustavo's holding that lichen rock. So he fails the great ball here. He traded once. Uh, so he trades twice, trades a judge. He, of course, runs four copies of judge versus Gustavo's one judge. All so, four in the discard. Uh, well, I guess Gustavo is the only one who will control, um, you know, hand disruption. He pulls up the Rock Ruff, and he knocks it out. Um, and so now Gustavo only has that Rock Ruff, but he does have the Lycan Rock and an energy. So he can Dangerous Rogue and knock out this Lycan Rock. Oh. Um, oh, he actually put a Lele on top. I'll grab him a fresh six with, um, Lily... Uh, and he also puts another card on top with the Smooth Ever, probably a Zorark, yeah, if I had to like guess. Yeah, like he grabbed a Zorark. Um, draws. He says, take that, that and card five. and five more. Uh, that might be... He actually takes a Timer Ball. Oh, he's going for the um, double Zorark. But he drew a Zorark anyway, so this is still very good. I think he has a Nest Ball in his hand as well, so he can get another Rock Ruff into play. Um does that. So the thing with this uh, Lycan Rock here, also for Gustavo, is it's going to Dangerous Rogue this Lycan Rock. And then he can um, either use a Lycan Rock on the next turn to knock out a Rock Ruff that Jimmy puts down, or just kill another Zork and take right. four prizes with one Lycan Rock. It's double heads. Easy money. Um, Gustavo takes... I'm not going to lie, when, when he smoothed over for the timer ball, I thought, that's just a little greedy, but then he hits double heads. He probably wouldn't have put the timer ball if he uh, didn't think he'd get double heads. So. <laughs> Some big brain plays here from Gustavo. Uh, it's time to high roll. It's round 14. So now this is, uh, you know, he didn't get his, Zor he got his Zorax down, his Zorua, at least a turn later than Jimmy. Um, but you see here, his board state is significantly better than Jimmy's. He has a fully powered Lycanroc, um, and then the next turn he can attach to that Rock Ruff and get another Lycanroc, um, and uh, honestly, potentially just sweep the game with these two Lycanrocs. Yeah, I mean, the double energy uh, Rock Ruffs in uh, the first two turns teed him up for success. Jimmy just has no response. Yeah, and, and, if, and if Gustavo puts down another Rock Ruff, or uh, Jimmy puts down another Rock Ruff, Gustavo can chase that, go to three, and the Deancey is there to, uh, to go back up on even prizes if he wanted to do that. He's just going to um, look for the DC and chip with Lele this turn? Um, not a bad option. Lele can't be knocked out um, by a uh, Lycan Rock, so he'll need to find uh, Guzma or something else. But he did Timer Ball for the second Lycan Rock, so uh, I'm not sure he's too worried about it. Uh, Jimmy's got a... With no Judge, too, you know, Jimmy... I'm not sure how he's going to fight yeah. his way out of this one. Yeah, I mean, he's got... He's got a Lycan Rock in hand, so another Zoroark's going down, right? He's that, got a, the, the Zoroark with the DC it will be killed next turn by this Lycan Rock in the active. What he needs to do is just hope he can find a way some point in this game to set up another Lycan Rock, um, you know, Dangerous Rogue, and then a Claw Swipe of his own. But he multi-switches the energy up to the active Lele. So, I'm going to put the, one of the judges back so he's got a little bit of disruption. Uh, he's actually opting for both judges. Yeah, double judges. 
needs he needs a couple turns of whiffs from Gustavo with those judges. Yeah. Um, I wonder if he has Acerola in hand for uh, next turn. Not sure. Yeah, I mean, he runs one Acerola. Uh, I, I recognize. Although Lycanroc's going to come down and one-shot the Zoroark, so it's not like the type of Lele is going to be tough. Yeah, I don't right. think... Uh, yeah, he's just going to go right to two prizes. I don't think Gustavo's going to worry about that. Yeah. Um, yeah he's, he's not interested in chipping Lele. He just wants to target down Zoroarks and win. He has a lot of Zoroark here, but... Ultra balling for a rock rough. Um, uh, he'll just hit this Lycan Rock here. Um, <coughs> I don't know if he has. He does have a fighting energy as well, so um, you know he's kind of threatening it. You know, maybe it's a it's a it's a ploy to save the Lele because that'll be what that'll be what he needs to carry him through this game. Um, if he can just build a big Lele, like maybe get another double on there, um, he can uh, he can start pushing to knock out a clean Lycan Rock when it does come up. Um, because Gustavo still has the uh, smooth over, so. Um, he, he can anticipate any sort of play that Jimmy has. So, so if you're Gustavo, do you, do you like and rock the rock rough now, or do you just kill a Zoroark? Um, I don't think you... Well, you actually... He's opting to kill the yeah, rock rough with a Zoroark. Target down the rock rough. It's all about controlling the Lycan rocks. Um, Gustavo also runs a copy of Multi-Switch himself. So on the next turn, he could, you know, he has the ability to Guzma, multi-switch, attach a fighting, knock out something with that clean uh, Lycan Rock. Right. And he just took all the damage he put out on, off the board. So he's denying prizes, keeping the Lycan Rock out of, out of play. Jimmy has access to three trades to Gustavo's two, but Jimmy doesn't, Gustavo has, you know, a lot more offensive options. There's another Rock Rough. Coming down with the energy, um, any judges? Um. I, I think this this is this is a situation where you kind of see how the deck is like lost those key like puzzle of time pieces since the rotation. I mean, Jimmy would love the ability to have the flexibility to make more multi switch plays again in in a mirror match like this. But instead, I mean, so much of their decks are teched out to play against Shrine decks, right? They're running all these uh, Devoured Field stadiums where that math just doesn't matter in these matchups. So Gustavo, you know, because he has the smooth over, he has a lot of options. Almost certainly will be able to deal with this, uh, this Rock Ruff on the bench. Um, and he'll hit this Zora for one. And so Gustavo... Probably going to trade once here um, just to see what he gets and then has the smooth over for the final trade. He's got the pal pad in hand. He has the option to throw his one Acerola. Or actually, Gustavo runs two Acerolas, but he could throw the Acerola back in deck, smooth over for the Acerola, and trade into it. He has a double, so he's probably going to smooth over a Guzma, uh, if I had to guess. Um, thinking. Not sure what he's thinking about I doing. I think he's trying to figure out if he wants to trade. Oh, he's actually thinking about a Kukui here. Um, gonna bring himself down to one prize. Um, he's got with a Kukui choice band, kill the Lele. Yeah, and so this and attach an energy to the Lycan Rock, and so this way, um, you know, if Gustavo opts to, you know, take on the Lycan Rock, then he has Zorox in play, and he can say knock out that Deancey yeah. for his final. And prize. he's got the Rock Ruff in the active to give him the option to pull up a Zorox and win. So, um, Gustavo will um, take the knockout on the Lele, go down to one prize. Um, Jimmy needs to... Yeah, so Jimmy needs to Dangerous Rogue the uh, Lycan Rock on the bench dead, right? The um, question is, if he has a Guzma, he's just going to Guzma Deancey and win the game. Right. Uh, on, on the following turn, but he's... If you're, if you're trying to play to your outs, you can't let the Lycan Rock just do its thing. You gotta rogue it. Yeah, here it comes. 
judges again. He has to hope yeah. that you know, Gustavo doesn't have uh, access to a Guzma. The problem and is the Macargo is still there, so he's just going to Guzma tra uh, smooth over, trade, Guzma win. All right. Um, but but you got to play to your outs. He, he will need another Pokemon to kill the Deancey there, right? Right. So so there's there's two pieces to the combo to kill the to Deancey with a Zoroark. Gustavo doesn't even look at his hand. Yeah. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, we see a timer ball in his hand. Um, yeah, he so brings the Zoroark be... up. He's got a timer ball for the Lycanroc. Pull up the Deancey. Puts down the... Grabs the Lycanroc, pulls up the Deancey, and we are going yeah. to game two. Um, you know, we saw it there uh, in that matchup. Um, it's all about controlling with Lycanroc. And, uh, you know, Gustavo, Jimmy, unfortunately, there was that turn where he put down the third Zerua um, and didn't get another Rockruff down. And that whole game, Gustavo just had control with his, uh, with his Lycanroc, you know, using that Acerola to get, uh, uh, I think, a third. Um, the, uh, the ability name is escaping me. I want to say Bright Look, the name of Luxray, GL Level X, <laughs> Poke Power. Um, Michael's just old school. I think it's... I think it's Bloodthirsty Eyes is the name of it. Um, I always call it Bright Look. but um, uh, You know what's interesting is I don't really understand why all the Pokemon that have gust effects on their bench have this, like, eyes look metaphor. Do you understand? Is there some, like, Pokemon thing that I'm supposed to know I think about? it's kind of like, uh, like, you know, like, I see you, you know? Maybe I mean, it's, it's like a dating metaphor, so you like... Yeah, well, I think all the ones with... Uh, I'm giving you that look. With you better come this way. That ability are like <laughs> dogs, or I guess Luxray is like a lion. I think they're like hunters, you know. So maybe right. they. I'm I'm not really sure. Yeah, uh, that's a baffling uh, question. Yeah, I don't know. Lycanroc is a very very strong card. Um, just being able to uh, have that gust effect and then being able to play like a Judge or Kakui or whatever it is, yeah. uh, just so strong. Yeah. Um, we saw it all last season. This season, I. Double be, supporter effects. That's good. Yeah, would be surprised if uh, this card ever phased out. But, um, you know, very strong. So in this game, um, you know, Jimmy didn't set up poorly. He got Zorix right away. He actually got Zorix before uh, Gustavo even had Zeruas. Um, but he just could not get more Lycanroc into play. So this game, I think he's going to want to try and prioritize Lycanrocs. Um, I, think, I, I think when Jimmy looks back on that first turn, he's going to regret getting that DNC early. Right? I mean, it, it turned out... The Deancey never really improved the math because yep. he could always kill a Buzzwool with a Devoured Field. Yep. But it clogged the bench and kept him from getting Rockruffs on the board, and he needed more Rockruffs. And this matchup is all about who can build Lycanrocks and run through the board. Yeah. So, uh, you know, they're, they're getting set up here, so we'll be going over there soon. But, um, you know, the thing with the Deancey, too, is, is Jimmy runs Devoured Field, so he has an out to knocking out um, yeah. the Baby Buzz if he needs. So, um we are heading over there. Uh, Jimmy is going to be starting again yeah. in game two. Let's watch the Pokemon. Starts Slug. Gustavo has Slugma again. Jimmy starts a Rock Rough. That's perfect. Um, what is up with Gustavo's prizes? This uh, sideways tilt is, uh, uh, I don't know if it's delightfully unconventional or if it's just unconventional. I, uh, I don't really know. Maybe uh, draws him like a side loader. Uh, yeah, you know, it's, it, well, it's yeah, I think it's interesting how there are so many different conventions, right? And I know when you see the, like, maths and stuff, it's like they have the very spaced out. It's like the prize cam, right? Two, 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 all the way down. I'm a three, three guy. I like to keep it tight and compact and in the upper corner. That way I got room for my bench. When people really spread it out like that, I don't understand how they can uh, manage their bench. So Jimmy Ultra Balls for a Zerua. Um... That leads me to believe he has some sort of supporter in his hand um, or a Lele in his hand to get one. If he's got a Lily to open here, that's really good. If he has an energy as well, um, like a fighting energy for this Rock Ruff, that's even better. He has a double. Yeah, we see a DC um, in his hand. So uh, he'll attach that to the Zerua um, and plays a Lily for five. Yeah. yeah so the Nest Balls the at the top. Balls. So he'll get uh, another Zerua probably. Um, and uh, this, uh, this attachment to the Zorak means he probably wants to have a Guzma next turn with his Zorak to knock out a Rock Ref, or really wherever the energy goes that Gustavo plays. Yeah, I think playing this mirror is interesting because 
the goal in this strategy is you want to get out a couple of Zoroas early because the Zoroarks are your draw engine, and yet the Zoroarks are horribly weak to Lycan Rocks. So if you're the first person to get a Lycan Rock out, you have a huge advantage. So he has an Ultra Ball we see as well, so he can, he can get a basic uh, the next turn if he wants or not. So he just passes, probably saving that for uh, Lele or something. Um, Gustavo has a beast energy in his hand, um, and he's playing Nest Ball. Forgets to pick up the other half of his deck or something, I guess. Um, he's eyeing that Buzzful, so maybe that leads me to believe that he is going to try and use a Guzma play and knock out that zero with the double. But I th uh, he's, choosing between, oh, he's choosing between all the basics now. <laughs> he's like, I don't know what I should do. So he's, he goes for a Rock Ref right away. Yeah, I mean, that um, probably means he has a fighting energy in hand. He was like, do I want to attach to the Buzzwell and try the Guzma play, or do I want to just attach the Rock? Up? He there actually we go. attaches and passes. Uh, again, Gustavo just cannot catch a break with these opening hands. Um, Jimmy has the knockout on this uh, Rock Ruff because he does have the Ultra Ball for a Lele for Guzma. Um, trades once. Um, no, if he, really, all he wants is an energy. If he can get an energy to attach to Rock Ruff, this hand, uh, this opener is about as good as you like. Bravo looks at that judge Jimmy discarded on the, on the Ultra Ball and says, why couldn't you judge me, man? He's got a second Zork as well. Um, and he brings up the... Oh, geez, he's got multi-switch and the oh attach. Oh, my God. Oh, this is big. This is a combo. Um, and he plays a Lily to just draw more cards. Still has that Ultra Ball as well. Um, like, but this the... is... Uh, so he trades again, um, and he'll play a Nest Ball, probably grabbing another Rock Ruff, if I had to guess. Um, just wants to maintain control. He is going to do to Gustavo what Gustavo did to him last game. Uh, if Gustavo even has a chance to play this game. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, unfortunately, this is looking like this is not going to be a fun game to watch. Yeah. Uh, and, and we're going to be on to a quick game three. I assume Gustavo's going to look at his top deck and decide whether or not he likes playing uh, this game anymore. Draws, and he'll yep. instantly concede. <laughs> Slugma not going to do enough. That, guard, that card was not good enough. On to the next game. So that was a very convincing win for Jimmy. Um, going first and having an attachment on the first turn. Yeah, it, lo uh, it looked like he top decked a timer ball and said, wow, I could get him a cargo and I could smooth over a great card for next turn and be benched out. Yeah. Let's go. Um, so... You know, we saw there going first and getting an energy in the Zorak mirror is just so good. Um, you know, it puts you so far ahead. Uh, Jimmy obviously only runs one multi switch, so it's you know pretty fortunate of him to get it there. But even if he didn't, he had Ultra Ball for Lele um, to still knock out that Rock Ruff. So um, you know, that was a, that was a very dominant win from Jimmy. Um, he's going to want to try and do that again. Gustavo, I think in game three would. You know, probably like to actually start with a playable hand. Um, hasn't really had the ability to do that yet. But it uh, seems you're just asking for so much. A playable hand. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's pretty crazy. I, I, I definitely feel like, I mean, what's interesting is we haven't seen a wave of great balls come down, but I do feel like Jimmy is set up early more consistently. Yep. And that's so much of this matchup. And the fact that, uh, um, you know, notwithstanding that, Gustavo was able to win game one. Uh, um, a, when, you, when you think about what is the model that's going to facilitate, you know, the Zoro Rock decks of this format in the future, you, you distinctly get the impression that uh, this kind of heavy great balls, heavy lily count, is a slightly, slightly more efficient way to set up based on what we've seen here head to head. Yeah, we're uh, setting up for game three here. You know, as Jimmy just respects, uh, Jimmy realizes drawing is much better than searching. Uh, with Apricorn Maker, so starts Deancey, Gustavo starts Lele, um, and plays an Apricorn Maker, so not a bad opener. Yeah, th this this is the opener that he wants, right? Yeah. He's like, open Apricorn, open Zorua, he's going to get another Zorua and a Rock Ruff. Play a Nest Ball for a... Uh, yeah, he's getting the two Nest Balls for his Apricorn. Slugma and Rock Ruff, so oh, right. he is just... You know, he figures he doesn't need a bunch of Zorak right now. He wants to be able to hit, you know, he would need a very specific combination of cards in the next turn to pull this off. I think he actually has Zorak, Macargo, and Guzma in his hand, uh, if I if I saw that correctly. Well, obviously next turn, but... Um, right. 
We'll see what Jimmy does. Jimmy, yeah. obviously, uh, multiple, any basics he can find. Yeah. Um, well, we talked last game about how Jimmy doesn't want this that, that DNC on the board in this game. So I'm sure he was disappointed to start the DNC. Well, I guess it is going to be with me. But he'll level ball, or uh, nest ball, sorry. Um, he is looking for um, no, multiple Zerua, multiple Rock Rep, if, if you can find. Um, takes a Rock Rep here. Um, so because he Ultra Balled for the Rock Rep, he's probably got a supporter. He opts to Judge. Oh, that's actually very big. Jimmy, yeah, Jimmy, we thought Gustavo had everything in his hand. Because Gustavo took those specific Pokemon. <laughs> Gustavo saw him. I had the Vicargo in the Zoro yeah, arc. <laughs> so I was right. He did have him. Um, so, you know, fortunate for Jimmy to have the judge. But, uh, you know, Gustavo kind of just telegraphed exactly what he had by taking those specific basics. So, um, you know, after this, Jimmy would like another basic, another basic if he can find, um, and then some sort of supporter play for next turn. Um, yeah, he would definitely like uh, a Zoroark, maybe a Fighting. Uh, it, you know, it, you'd love to get that energy on the Rock Ruff so everyone knows you're just one energy and a Lycan Rock away from Dangerous Roguing. Yeah, definitely. Draws. Um, Check upside down. Draw his four. Cannot see what that is. But a great ball. Great Ball, very good in the early game. You know, because it's so early, Great Ball has a, a big chance of acting as another Nest Ball, which it does right here. Um, you know, in the early game, Great Ball acts as a Nest Ball, where it has the potential to do that with your basics in your deck. And then later in the game, um, it kind of acts as a Timer Ball because you just have evolutions in the deck. So, right. um, very, you know, honestly, it, at first glance, it seems pretty, you know, wild. It, it's, but it's a RNG card. <laughs> And people don't like paying kind of flippy cards, right? There's an element of like, we're just going to yell low and look in uh, these, these cards and see what we, find what we want. So he gets a Rock Ruff with a Fighting Energy. Um, Gustavo responds with an Ultra Ball and another Zerua. Um, he's got a Zork. So he opts to take the Zork here, and he's Cynthia. So um, he's got good draws to respond to this. Yeah. Um, Jimmy's hand is pretty low as well, so uh, honestly, if I'm Gustavo, what I want here, um, uh, Macargo, that would be nice, and then probably another Rock Ruff, um, if I can get an energy down somewhere, that would be good too. Jimmy has two cards in hand, so it would need to be two perfect cards to respond to, like a Lycan Rock. He's got a timer ball. Can't see what that was. I guess is it was... Two tails. Two tails. Yuck. So that is rough. He's got another Zork anyway. Maybe he's just trying to pull the Lycan Rock out. Trades the pal pad. He has a fighting energy to attach. Jimmy is wondering. He did. I believe he just put the Zerua down before he uh, evolved. evolved. And uh, oh, and he traded on it. And I think. Well, no, I think that was his first trade. No, because he traded the Kukui. Oh, you might be right, yeah. Oh. That was the second trade. So this we're is at, huge. We're going to hold up for a second while they figure out what's happening here. Um, I think they're going to pick two cards and put them back. Yeah. Both of these players, um, very high level. It's, you know, mistakes like this are unfortunate. Um, that's, you know. It is Pokemon. Sometimes it does happen in some high-pressure situations. Um, they both understand um, the mistake Gustavo made. So, yeah. uh, But, you know, getting back to the game, I mean, Gustavo, uh, really what he wants here is another uh, Rock Ruff. Um, I think I did see a Fighting Energy in his hand. I'm not sure if he got that off the second trade. I don't think so. Yeah, I felt like he had a DC and a Fighting Energy previously, but uh, you know, they're going to pick two random cards and put them back in. So he wants to uh, put, put that energy in on the Rock Ruff. Like I said earlier, Jimmy has two cards in hand. So Jimmy could theoretically respond if he, if his two cards in hand are uh, Lycan Rock and an Energy and a Double, and he top decks a Guzma, or there's some combination of those three cards in his hand in the top deck. Otherwise, uh, the chances of Jimmy... 
um, actually knocking something out this turn are very low, uh, and that opens the door for Gustavo to um, to kind of take over this game on this next turn if he can. Um, with the with the way the new uh, prize penalties work. Um, Jimmy doesn't get two extra cards here if they assess a prize penalty like that. Um, it's just he has to take, uh, for example, two less prizes. So in the past, you know, he might have been able to get some of these cards he could use off of a prize penalty like this, if that's what they assess. Um, but now uh, that there's no bailout like that anymore. Yeah. So now, now, conversely, I think the reason they instituted those rules was to keep people from doing cheap stuff to take advantage of things like counter energy, which we've seen a lot in this tournament. And uh, um, and in that respect, there's no question this is the right thing to do from a rule perspective. I really like how they made that change. Uh, um, it's definitely for the better. Yeah, they instituted that change last season. Um, and uh, it's been working pretty well up to this point. But, um, yeah, I mean, this is uh, – it's – it's unfortunate for Jimmy. He had to. He had to judge to not uh, kind of get overwhelmed by Gustavo's hand. You know, uh, that that Macargo and the Zork that Gustavo was sitting on. Uh, but in doing so, he puts himself at such a low number, and he's at risk of just being punished by his own judge. He has yeah. no Zork in play to draw out of it. Um, yeah, yesterday's motto was: every time you judge the other guy, you judge yourself. <laughs> so, we'll see. The Deancey also the uh, risk equally high. Two retreat, you know, float stone rotating is uh, has kind of been a small thorn in the side for Zorak decks. Um, you know, they always ran uh, at least one, uh, at least uh, at least one float stone um, that they could use with puzzles, sometimes more. Um, you know, to move Pokemon like a Deancey out of the active spot, or move um, a Zorak to preserve energy, or something like that. And now the only switching effect that Jimmy has is. Uh, the three Guzma, or two Guzma that he runs, sorry. Yeah. So he would have to manually retreat um, or use one of those two Guzma. Now, I'll, I'll tell you, he, he runs a Tapu Koko, uh, and, and theoretically they thought of that as an important card when they were building this deck. I was talking with uh, Azul uh, yesterday, who was running the same 60 as uh, Jimmy, and Azul was saying the only card I would cut is the Tapu Koko because I felt like I never needed the free pivot. You know, I always knew what attacker I was going to uh, go up with. Yeah. So... You know, I mean, they felt like they needed that pivot, and, and I, I think they felt like over the course of the tournament that was less important than they expected. But you know, at a moment like this, it's like, God, I'd really like to get that Pokemon out of the active. Yeah, definitely. Gustavo runs a uh, smaller uh, Lycanroc line, but he runs uh, one more Guzma, so he has a little bit better chance of switching around. Um, you know, the Deancey is honestly really the only Pokemon in the entire deck that Jimmy doesn't want to start. Um, yeah. Starting everything else is either a Pokemon that evolves into something you want, uh, is a Tapu Koko with free retreat, or is a Lele, which yeah. can, you know, is mobile and can attack if need be. So, uh, conversely, obviously Jimmy's strategy is going to be he wants to pull stuff up from the bench. Like both of them essentially started walls, and and they're happy to sit behind the walls uh, until they're ready to pull something up. And the question is who's going to be ready first, yeah. and who's going to be in a position like now. The result is they can't just use. Uh, the Lycan Rock to bloodthirsty eye something up, they're gonna need a Guzma to get the uh, to get the full effect and switch their Pokemon as well. Yeah, um, this this situation with with the prize penalty being assessed, um, you know, it's always kind of nerve wracking because you're just sitting there, not really doing anything. I think we're gonna get a ruling here shortly. Um, they are just kind of confirming some details of what happened. Um, so, um, you know, I think there is two rounds left after this one. Um, I believe Jimmy is at 30 match points, and I think Gustavo is at the same, um, which means that, you know, the, a win here, they would need uh, two wins for sure, um, or, uh, or a win and then two IDs. Um. Uh, they're, they're putting the fighting energy and the Zoroark back in? Okay, so that's what he drew. And actually, this might be the... I, I think, so it's unfortunate because I think, as you and I were discussing, I think the fighting energy was already in his hand. Uh, but they're putting it back in. But the fighting energy is what he wanted. He wanted to put that on the rock rough, I assume. Instead, he says, well, I'm just going to energy drive because there, there's not too much else to do. So, um, and actually, I stand corrected. It is round 14. So this, there's one more round after this one. Yeah. Um, now, I, I think this is, uh, it's hard to imagine, but I think the current thinking is you need 34 points to top eight here. Jimmy plays. So a they're both at 30. So whoever the winner is here, 
theoretically ID in the cut yeah, next so, round. So Jimmy plays a Lele, grabbing a supporter here. Um, he does get that two prize penalty. So again, uh, he'll only need to take four prizes this game, um, but he's going to need to be a little more um, concerned about getting some sort of setup on his board before he worries about taking those prizes. So, yeah. um, Did he just top deck that Lele? Uh, I'm not sure. I did not see what was in his hand before. Yeah. Um, regardless of if he did or not, we'll live um, in that life. he's going to be drawing uh, at least four cards with Lele. Might be able to play some more cards. Um, if I'm Jimmy, you know, it's tough. You, you want another Rock Ruff down, uh, preferably even with an energy, so that you can, um, you know, get ready to attack next turn. But then in doing that, we, we actually just got confirmation. So it was the double prize card penalty. Um, and, uh, and Jimmy responds by pulling up the Slugma with his Lycan Rock. Um, yeah, hoping plays, that, plays his entire hand down for the Lily. Hoping that Gustavo doesn't have um, like a, a multi... Because he attached to the Lele, um, you know, Jimmy, he, he would need a, like a Guzma and a multi-switch to get Lycanroc going this turn. So Jimmy is kind of banking on him not having that one of card. Yeah. To, so to this is a perfect off. situation where he could have benched the Coco and had a free pivot, and he was like, ah, this is useless to me. Yep. Cast it aside. Yep, so he Ultra Balls for another Rock Ruff here. Um, this is very good. He's got one Zork down. Um, I didn't see what he traded into, but um, his his setup here is, uh, is has really turned around. That Lele was really good for him. Drew a lot. Um, and he does have another Rock Ruff and a Fighting Energy. So, so this is actually... Very good recovery from the judge, and now Gustavo needs to figure out how to respond to this. Yeah, I mean, what what Jimmy needs now, he's got two cards left in his hand. He wants a Guzman a DC next turn, right? He's ready to go. Now Gustavo trades that pal pad. Gustavo is um, not ready to go. He needs some more pieces before he really wants to start fighting with this like wave of lichen rocks that's about to come at him. That's a, I think two tails. Uh, that is he brutal. Again. That's he the, wants, that's, he's 0 for 4 on uh, timer balls uh, this game? I believe. That, that's no way to win. Yeah. Um, so he's eyeing a fighting energy on the other rock rough. Um, I think he's playing into Lily. He's just thinning his hand down. Here we go. You know, he's going to need a multi-switch to be able to do anything with this energy anyway because Jimmy's most likely going to chase down that fighting energy if he can. Um, so we will see what he has. He doesn't have too many cards in hand, but he has a trade. Yeah, there's a strategy here to, to, to just uh, claw slash that rock rough if he can find the DC. If he can't, yeah, find a DC yeah. in Guzma. Um, yeah, this, this Deancey uh, and this Slugma. I mean, Jimmy Both. has the perfect setup at this point, right? Two, two Zoroarks, a rock rough, and a Lycan rock. Did he find the Guzma? How your hand, Jimmy? I don't think so. I think he would have played these cards if he did. Looks like he has a DC. He has a yeah. DCE, so he's kind of spreading his energy around, maybe. And he's going to just judge. Gustavo had a pretty big hand. He whiffed the Guzma. He whiffed the Guzma. But, you know, this is still fine. He uh, he disrupts Gustavo. Um, you know, Gustavo has two trades to bail out of it, but he, he did have a pretty big hand, so he was probably sitting on a lot. Um, Gustavo, of course, just needs, like, really a, a cargo um, to kind of bail himself out of this permanently. Um, and negate Jimmy's judges going yeah. forward. Yeah, everybody's looking for the Guzma to get the switch effect, but, but Gustavo's going to need more pieces, right? He's going to need a Lycanroc DCE or Lycanroc multi-switch. If he finds him a cargo, he can, he can get one of those pieces instantly. So he's got a lot of outs. Jimmy passes. I mean, he, once he missed the Guzma, he knew he wasn't going to attack, right? We'll see the first trade. Um, you always want to do that first. You always want to do as many trades as you can before you play a card like Mallow or use Macargo's ability. Um, just in the off chance that you draw these cards uh, with these trades first. So that yeah. way it can change. We talked about how he needs are. a two or three card combo. So if he gets one of the pieces, he'll say, oh, that simplifies the combo I need. So he has a Lycanroc in his hand. I didn't see what he put down. It might have been a Guzma. Um, I, my guess is it would be a Guzma. Because um, he can at least like attack with a... Uh, Tapu Lele, if nothing else. If, if he has any energy in a multi or a multi switch, he can get there, right? Trades. 
He, so he has a DCE and a Lycanroc, and he has the Guzma, and so he is going to start off with a Dangerous Rogue on this Lycanroc. Do you attach um, the Fighting or DCE? He, he goes attach the DCE. DCE. Um, you know, he, he kind of does Jimmy a favor because he gets rid of the Deancey, and so now Jimmy can respond with his own Dangerous Rogue. Um, and, uh, and we will get into some pretty intense dogfighting here between, uh, <laughs> between Jimmy and Gustavo. So, so it, if you're Jimmy, is, is there any scenario where you would kill the Rockruff instead of the Lycanroc to prevent future bloodthirsty eyes? Or do you just Dangerous Rogue the Lycanroc to move on? Uh, you would, uh, I think you would Dangerous Rogue the Lycanroc here. The reason being is because Gustavo would need to use um, his multi-switch. Well, I don't know. It's, it's interesting. We'll see what he mouths for first. Um, you know, th there is the ability because, you know, Gustavo would need to use it for Guzmas, and then he can Dangerous Rogue this Lycanroc and get rid of the threat. Um, but in doing that, uh, he opens himself up to at least losing another Zorg. Um, so, I don't know. It's, it's a tough call. We'll see what he values. Um, taking out the Rockruff might not be terrible. Um, he trades a Zerua, looking for another Rockruff as well. Nest Ball, Nest I'm ball. imagining yeah. this is going to be a Red Rockruff. Rock rough. Um, and he probably has the uh, Lycanroc and... Um, this is where it helps him that he's running the much thicker uh, Lycanroc front line, right? The, the 3-2. Oh, they both run 3-2. Uh, oh, no, he no, runs 4-3. Jimmy four, runs 4-3. I'm sorry, so, you're right. So, um, so he's got... Uh, uh, he checked to make sure the other Lycan rocks were in deck. So he does not use Bloodthirsty Eyes. Um, yeah. So maybe he... He just malas into it in Dangerous Rugs. Max it out. So, But the thing is here is it actually doesn't matter. Because he only has to take those two prizes because of the penalty, um, he has the ability to knock out this Lele because he can Dangerous ro or, um, Bloodthirsty Eyes up the Lele and then play a Kukui and knock it out with the Zorak to win this match. Um, so we will see what Gustavo does. Because he pushes up the Lele, um, no, I'm not sure. Now maybe Gustavo wants to, looks like a Kakui that he took. Yeah, I mean, the problem is he has no way to kill this Lycanroc, right? Right. So, so and, and the problem is there's a lot of outs for Jimmy to be able to take two prizes next turn. Trades. What did he trade into? Was that Kakui? I think it was. A stretcher like, uh, oh. for Baby Buzz. Oh, this is interesting. Going for the sledgehammer turn. I'm um, going to take out that Zorark, I think. Um, Put a one prize attacker up and tell Jimmy you got to find a Guzma. Oh, he's actually going to oh. just take out this Lycanroc. With Kukui's. Is he going to get there? Yeah, that'll do exactly 200. Oh my god, the beast energy. 120 base plus, six, plus 60 from Choice Band and Beast Energy is 180, and then the Kukui will push him to 200. Um, you know, and these kind of combos are made possible by the Macargo, but, you know, Jimmy now, if he can find that Lycanroc and Kukui play of his own, he can target the Lele and win this game. And uh, even if he doesn't, he will be able to knock out this baby Buzz thanks to Devoured Field. So yeah, he has uh, to bench one Pokemon. That's an easy thing to do. But it, yeah, it's critical to take a KO this turn and get off the Sledgehammer turn. So he's trading once. Um, he's eyeing another card here. I I don't think he has it yet because he is he hasn't played these cards down just yet. But Ultra Balling probably gonna grab. Lycan Rock grabs a Lele for Kukui, so I think he does have it here. Um, Ultra Balls for the next Lycan Rock. He'll bright look up the Lele, and Gustavo understands what's happening. Um, and that is the game, and that was made possible by that uh, two prize penalty that Gustavo incurred from drawing uh, with trade on a Zerua that he had just evolved. So um, very, you know, that was a good game. Um, Jimmy was able to